Welcome to this video tutorial on the Deer Production Bomb Explosions, or otherwise known as Nested Production Orders. Production bill materials can contain semi-finished components. These are products with their own production or assembly bill materials. This video tutorial explains how production orders containing nested production bill materials are treated by the system. Before creating a purchase order, we'll navigate to Settings, General Settings, Production Process Customization. Here we'll be able to configure the status and the quantity of the production order produced. When a sales order is authorised, production orders are created in either draft, planned, or release status. Note that nested production orders are created for semi-finished components with a production bill of material that matches the status of the originating order, except of course for draft orders. Because of this, planning and releasing a top-level order will also plan and release the nested orders. This means that if order status setting is set to release status, all nested orders will be created in release status. A very important thing to note is that assembly orders will not be generated for semi-finished components with assembly bill materials. These must be raised manually. Only semi-finished components with production bill materials will benefit from this automation. Once the desired options are selected, click on Save to apply the changes. We'll start by creating a simple sales order for the finished good that will trigger a production order for the final finished good, as well as for the nested products that are semi-finished goods within the production bill of materials. This process defines the production bill of material explosion. Navigate to the sales module and open a new sales order. Fill in the compulsory fields, and in the location on the right side, select the shop floor where the production for the final finished good will occur. In the order tab, select the final finished good, fill in the quantity, price, and click on authorize. The system will display an error message stating that there is not enough available product in stock and will ask you to back order. Once you click on back order, the system will automatically create the production order for the final finished good as well as the production order for the nested product, or semi-finished good. Navigate to the production module and production orders to check the newly created production orders. Here, you can open the production order for the final finished good and click authorize. Then, navigate to the related orders tab to be able to see the nested products by clicking the small arrow next to the production order to expand the details. Also note that if the production order was generated by a sales authorization, the sales order will appear in the related orders tab at the top level of the production order, as well as nested production orders for semi-finished components. Also note that related orders for semi-finished components will also show the production order for the next nested level up. Now we'll have to complete the production order for the nested product to be able to complete the production order for the final finished good. Please note that completed semi-finished products should be put away to either the shop floor location of the top level order or the connected warehouse location. This ensures it has sufficient component stock to complete the final finished good production. To identify which production orders should be completed first as a result of the production bill of material explosion, open the scheduler from the production module. If the orders are in plan status, open the plan tab to see which production orders come first. If the orders are in release status, open the production tab to identify the production orders that are scheduled to be completed first. Important to note, undoing or voiding one level of production order does not undo or void nested production orders. Also, undoing or voiding a sales order that has generated a production order does not undo or void the production order or its nested production orders. That concludes this video tutorial on the Deer Production Bill of Material Explosions.